So um, today, uh, Mom and I uh, went to one of the local farms and bought a few apples. That it's an apple orchard primarily, and um, we're just not gonna eat. We we had two or three apples each already, um, but we're not gonna eat all of them before they go bad. So um, if you follow me on Instagram slash Twitter or are friends with me on Facebook, um, you know that I made some apple butter last week, week before, something like that, and it turned out epic. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys. I swear, batteries just keep dying on me when I'm vlogging, and I have like three or four vlogs that I, that I need to edit. I just wanted to show you guys the process of how I made it last time and how I'm making it now. Um, I looked up a few recipes and I'm kind of going from off of that, but a lot of them, a lot of the recipes that I've read call for like five to six pounds of apples. And I have a super small crock pot uh, that I got from Savers, so this thing is not going to call hold six pounds of apples plus I don't want to make six pounds worth of apple butter I just want to make what I have of apples if that makes sense so that my recipe kind of doesn't have any exact measurements um, but approximately 11 apples fit in my crock pot and that's conveniently what I have um, so First thing I do is, of course, clean the apples really good and cut them up into super tiny pieces and fill up your crock pot. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to finish cutting and I'll be back in a moment. And I forgot, a lot of recipes call for you to skin the apples. I don't do that because it actually takes a lot of nutrients out of the apple. Sure, apple butter is pretty sugary because I put about two cups of sugar in here plus a little bit of honey. But still, um, when I cook it down, it does have an applesaucey texture to it. But I take um, like one of the, it's somewhere in this cabinet, I take like one of those Cuisinart smart stick things and make it more of a buttery texture that way to kind of smooth it out but I'll get to that so so I cut up all my apples added a couple cups of sugar a little bit of salt and as much cinnamon as you want <laughs> if I can get it out there we go what yeah I just put like two cups of sugar in here yeah, some cinnamon, gonna put some cloves to make it epic. Honestly, this is all really to taste, so. And a little nutmeg, and of course you can add more later if you want. Um, and, oh, yeah, and mom's watching Walking Dead, so. That's what that is. <laughs> and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, the vinegar taste will actually go away as you cook it. So, And then, since you can't really stir, it's kind of hard to stir it at this point. So I'm just going to put it on high for an hour. What? I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> and put the lid on, gonna leave that for an hour, come back, stir it, it'll cook down a little bit, so if you want to add some more apples at that point, go right ahead, so, yeah. It's actually been an hour and a half, and, um, about a half an hour ago, I stirred it, and I actually, it smells so good, um, I added some... Uh, I actually added some pears because I was like, that sounds really good. And I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Um, right now I just have 
uh, Market Basket brand Wildflower Honey. Um, gonna add some of that to add for some sweetness. And I'm actually going to put this on low. And uh, depending on how thick you want it, uh, you can um, leave it overnight for about 8 to 11 hours depending on how thick you want your apple butter um, and you want to stir it occasionally um, so yeah uh, so yeah this is what it currently looks like and it smells so good so yeah I will see you guys in the morning so just as a little update um, I feel like I put in too much seasoning, um, too much cinnamon, too much, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So I added some um, dried ocean spray dried cranberries um, just because I don't have any more apples and I don't have any more pears and I figured sounded good you know and by adding that um, I feel like it's a little tart now so I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe half a cup of sugar in there um, just to sweeten it a little bit but um, yeah that's just kind of a little update as to where I'm at um, it's been in the crock pot for, let's see, two hours? No, three and a half. Three and a half hours now. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now, and I just kind of wanted to put that in there. Um, that's the fun thing about cooking is you can kind of play with the recipes and stuff a lot, which is, I love that. Um, and I, I tend to like doing more dessert type stuff, but, um, that's just me, and, yeah. This is currently what it's looking like right now. It's getting pretty soupy looking, which is fine. Um, and hopefully it'll thicken up more as the night goes on. So, it should be ready by the time I wake up in the morning. So, um, yeah, that sugar definitely, it's perfect now, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, in the morning, going to take it out of the crock pot, smooth it out with the Cuisinart smart stick thing, um, and, and then, um, sorry, my nose is itchy, I'm supposed to be babysitting tomorrow. Um, for a while. Once I get home, I'm going to can some of that, and yeah, I just I like I just started doing the canning thing, and I love it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. So it's been about ten hours, and um, it is looking amazing, if I do say so myself. Um, so I'm going to take my Cuisinart Smart Stick, um, you can use a blender, um, Nutribullet thing, whatever, um, but I'm going to, I have this, which I got for free from somebody who was moving and didn't want to lug a bunch of crap, um, so I'm not sure how much this actually is, I would think pretty cheap, but yeah so I'm gonna use this to smooth out the apple butter
now that my um, I almost said I'm just, my brain's thinking apple cider. Now that my apple butter is done, I'm actually uh, canning it. So you cannot go wrong with canning. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of the process I go through. And I don't know what else to say at this point. I hope it was helpful in some aspect. If you didn't find it helpful, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you all later. Bye.